and five foot nine, weighing 202 pounds, from St. Catharines, Ontario, Scotty Turner.
Good guy. Just a quick little beer thing. I thought you were my sister, but you're my brother. Mom and Pop Warlord are weird, everybody! You wonder what the hell you guys did wrong, huh? What do you think wrong? I'm honest with you. Something for me, but I don't know. Some of you guys may not have been catching on what's going on with me right now. But my life has really turned into a sweet thing. So, you know, I've been, uh, I've been getting sober down there for 11 months. Yeah. And, uh, I'm gonna tell you, man, sometimes it's pretty weird. You're looking at my ass. I mean, uh, no, it, it's, it's, it's truly wonderful, man, because uh, 11 months ago, I didn't think I was gonna make it a week. You know, that's where I was going. I was doing cocaine every day, man. It sucked. And you kids, I'm gonna tell you something. It's not fun. It's not cool. You know, uh, people say, well, why didn't you do drugs in the first place? It's like, pretty simple. I like that. So, but that's that's the lie of what drugs and alcohol do for you. Know? They, they, you know, they show you a good time. You're having fun. Everybody's laughing and giggling. And then pretty soon you turn around and nobody's laughing anymore. Nobody's smiling anymore. And you're, uh, you're handcuffed to hell. I tried a lot of times, man, to get it right. And, uh, I just let too much of my past get in the way. Learn how to forgive yourself for making a mistake. I couldn't do that. I thought, you know, you're a loser. Sorry, son of a bitch. You know, how can you smile at somebody, man, knowing what you've done? And we all make mistakes. That's why we got such a great, wonderful God, man, that forgives us and loves us regardless. <laughs> I want to thank the promotion here for bringing me up. I mean, um, I guess you guys are just queer for punishment, but we had a hell of a road trip last night. <laughs> yeah. I just want to just want to live there. Royal Rumble. Uh, yeah, Royal Rumble, man. You know, I, I got my fingers crossed, but I understand that they were invite me. The last thing they want to do is have some 58-year-old ex-addict alcoholic with us on the bench. <laughs> and the bottom line is they couldn't deal with me when I was stoned and effed up, so what are they going to do with me straight? <laughs> they were about as excited as they were about to go out of the pond. I feel like I'm really looking forward to tonight because it's always good to be around my brother because I feel the love. He watches my back. It's my support group. Again, guys, if you're making the wrong choices already, it's okay. It's okay. God forgive you. Forgive yourself. Get your ass up and get the game. Because if you do fall, fall forward. Don't fall back when you go on your butt. And chances are you'll just sit your ass there. Don't do it, man. Don't do it. God bless you, and I love you to everyone. Hey, Frisky, are you ready for a main event?
Thank <laughs> you. 